B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. The American Chamber of Commerce in Cambodia held its annual general meeting and charity gala dinner on March 27, 2024 at the Oakwood Premier Phnom Penh. Welcome to the American Chamber of Commerce annual general meeting. We came into this year with a focus on a few key areas. Improving the value proposition for membership, focusing on member benefits, focusing on member tiers, providing relevant content and programming of interest as told to us by our members, and inviting members to our ministry engagements. Some of the work the board has done generated heated discussions, plenty of conversations, but at the end, teamwork makes the dream work. And this board has been one of the finest teams of professionals that I've had the privilege of working for and representing. As we look forward into the year ahead, I recommend the Chamber continue to build on the relationships that we've established. Continue to engage with the government and advocate for good policy and a good business climate. And walk into those meetings with defined goals and come out with tangible outcomes. I believe education is matters for all. We used to talk about education for all. It's a, it's a universal value of you know, many countries, many people. But today we should all talk also about all for education. Now we spend annually as the government $950 million for education sector, covering over 10,000 schools across the country. So why don't we work together in partnership to be a strong program for education. During the gala, the election results for the Chamber's 2024 Board of Governors were also announced. We spoke with a longtime member of AmCham to get some of his reflections on the event as well as on being a member of the chamber. After many years, uh, I've known AmCham, you know, uh, being part of the platinum member, you know, on behalf of Watanak uh, Property, Watanak Group. I think the event is, uh, you know, uh, very well uh, arranged. Um, and the, the event is uh, uh, a lot of meaningful for, for the members, you know. Uh, always some new experience and new takes, you know, uh, for us member to take on. And like today's topic was uh, about uh, education, and I think uh, it's it's a very relevant topic, you know, um, to be discussed among all the member and the board. Um, Vatanak properties, uh, if you may, we we focus on a number of key uh, business industry, you know, running from real estate, banking, uh, industrial, uh, retail, consumer good, beverage, and hospitality, you know. Uh, our client is not only local, but from you know many countries: America, China, uh, Europe, uh, everywhere. You know, Watanak Property is a Cambodian-owned, 100% Cambodian-owned business, right? We want to connect uh, our business with all the American business. We want to strengthen that relationships uh, between Cambodia and American. You know, as as what the government is doing right now is strengthen multiple you know, win-win relationship with all country, and that's the same thing where we as a private sector, we want to extend that warm, long-term, great, long-lived relationship with the American business, and of course, the many other business that from other countries as well, who is part of the, me the member of MCHAM, you know. We also spoke with Casey Barnett, president of CAMED Business School, following his re-election to the AmCham board to get some of his thoughts on the Chamber's engagement with the education sector. In the field of education, one thing that we want to achieve is to make sure that their curriculum and the training in schools is aligned with the needs of the workforce and aligned with the needs of companies. That what educators are doing is going to be practical and a, a useful benefit when they go out into the world so that uh, we will see more practice, more internships, and make sure that the curriculum itself is aligned with uh, the needs of the employers. The government cannot provide high quality education to all Cambodians, it's just simply too expensive. And that's where the private sector education and the private education plays an important role, especially the, the high-end, the higher quality specialist education. 
and we want to work with the royal government of Cambodia to make sure that we can remove certain obstacles to uh, facilitate more investment uh, and flexibility in having private institutions provide education, education services. CAMED was founded in the year 2000, uh, formally in 2001, and we have a lot of relationships with employers, with graduates, alumni, government officials, and so we can, we bring a lot to the American Chamber of Commerce connecting employers with the government, with the students, and so that's one role that we play, is making sure everyone's connected, there is dialogue, there's understanding of each other's needs. The last few years I was treasurer and I would like to see the chamber continue the practice of transparency and accountability to its members. And I want to have our chamber have a member focus. We're focused on the needs of our members, to serve our members. I want us to have a service mindset and to make sure that we're giving, we are the legitimate voice of our members and we can be the legitimate voice of our members, the true voice of American businesses in Cambodia when we make sure that we are listening to our members, when we are actively collecting their concerns, their input, their recommendations, and then we summarize that and we bring that to the Royal Government of Cambodia to uh, share with them the needs of our members.